Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your text fly just by using a combination of animations built directly into PowerPoint. To start, we'll go to File, New, Blank Presentation and choose Layout, Blank. Now we can add our first character and then we'll animate it. So we'll go to text box, click anywhere. I'm going to type P and then I'm going to make this poppins 180 and bold and put it roughly where I want it to end up. Now we can add the animations and then we can easily duplicate the text, which will keep the animations and make it simple to make more variations. So we'll click on the P, we'll go to animations, add animation and choose custom path. From here, we'll go to effect options and choose curve. And then I'll just click for the first point of the animation, let go and move my mouse to the second point, click again, and then drag down to the bottom of the screen. We'll now press return. You can see the animation path draw in. So we can right click on this and choose edit points. And then I'm gonna click on this point and just pull it down so that it starts off the screen. And if you right click on the path, you can choose reverse path direction. So this will make it fly in. Now we can go to the animation pane, double click on our fly in and give it a smooth end. And I want to make this one second and happen after previous which means when we play the slide, it will happen without a click. It's looking pretty good, but I also want to add some rotation. And to do that, we can use the spin emphasis effect. So we'll go up to add animation. Then under emphasis, you can see it says here spin. And the default is a 360 rotation, but for this effect, I think it looks good. if We just rotate it. 10 degrees and then back again. So we can double click on this, go to a mount where it says custom, type in 10 degrees and make sure you press return. I'm also going to choose auto reverse and click OK. So that's the correct amount of rotation that I want to add, but I now just need to take the time down to a very short duration to give it a nice effect. I'm going to use 0.25 and I'm going to make sure this happens with previous. So now as the motion path animation starts, the rotation will start with it. And if you want, you can just add a bit of animation to rotate it the other way, which I did in the example. So again, we'll go to add animation, choose the spin emphasis, double click, Go to custom, 10 degrees, this time we'll choose counterclockwise and auto reverse, okay. We'll choose to start with previous and take the duration down to quarter of a second. And I just want a slight delay on this. And what that will do is it will rotate clockwise 10 degrees. And then after half a second, it will rotate anti-clockwise 10 degrees. And that will look like this. It's a nice effect. By combining animations, you can create an interesting effect. that's more unique than just adding one standard animation. So now we've got this, we can easily duplicate it and modify it to make our variations and our other letters. So we'll click on this, press Control D to duplicate, drag it into our position that we want it. I can now change this to our second character. And then I can add a bit of variation to the animation path by clicking on it, right clicking and choosing edit points. And from there, I can either drag these points or control click while I'm on the path to add new points. And you can also right click and choose smooth points, which will smooth out the curve. So I'll play. You'll see that the animation is good, 
that the D is present on the screen at the beginning. And to fix this, we'll need to add one further animation. We'll go to Add Animation and we'll give it an entrance effect so it doesn't appear to start with. We'll choose Appear. We'll drag up this entrance effect in the order in the animation pane so it's above the other animations for the D letter. And I'm going to choose it to start with previous, but we're going to give it a small delay. And because I've added that effect, I do need to go onto the motion path animation and make sure that happens with previous. And the same for the rotation effect. And then I'll add a small delay to the second rotation effect. So that should give us roughly what we're looking for. Nice. Let's just finally add the M. So we'll click on the D. Press Ctrl D to duplicate again, drag it into the right place, type in our character, right click on the motion path and edit points. And I'm going to give this a slightly different variation to curve to come in from a different direction. Again, you can right click on any of these points and choose smooth point, but it's just about creating whatever you think looks good. and You can adjust with these Bezier handles. I'm going to make the M have a small delay and then underneath the motion path will have the same delay and the rotation a tiny bit more of a delay. Looking good. I'll just smooth out this line a bit. Nice. Now I'm just going to quickly paste in the background I had in my example. Save time, but this is just done by going to Format Background and choosing Gradient Fill and picking some colours. I'm going to copy in my text. I'm going to make this white, drag it into position. There we go. Animated flying in text and you can easily duplicate this change it into any text you like just adjust the spacing there and so you can easily create variations without having to redo all the animation again once you've done it once so I hope you enjoyed seeing how you can make your text fly in PowerPoint using inbuilt animations. Thanks for watching the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.